In this video, I'll discuss how to launch a compliance scan using Tenable SC. Compliance is an adherence to a specific baseline configuration for hosts in order to meet regulatory or business requirements. Tenable provides many audit files that can help you measure that configuration. Several industry standards are supported, including PCI, CIS, HIPAA, DISSYSDIG, and more. Additionally, Tenable SC supports audits for multiple operating systems, applications, and network devices, as well as auditing file contents and custom audits. A compliance scan in Tenable SC has several requirements. On top of the import repository and targets, you need an audit file, a compliance scan policy, and credentials. Start with the audit file. There are several templates available depending upon the type of audit you wish to perform. The advanced option allows you to upload a customized audit file. Additional audits, as well as documentation, can be found on the Tenable community page. I want to run a CIS audit against my Windows Server 2016 systems, so I'll start with the Windows category and search from there. Give your audit a meaningful name. Note that several audits, such as this one, also give you the option to further customize some settings. Once you have added the audit file, create a scan policy with that audit. The policy compliance auditing template is best for most types of compliance scans. Be sure to add the auditor audits you wish to run on the compliance tab. Now I'm ready to add the scan. Give your scan a meaningful name and select your audit policy. Choose an appropriate import repository. Add targets. If you scan multiple targets, Tenable SC will automatically check the operating system first before attempting to run the audit. Audits are only run on targets where the audit check type matches up with the target OS. Remember, all audits require credentials. The level of permissions in the credentials may vary depending upon the audit checks. Many Windows audits will need an account that has domain privileges as well as registry and WMI access. SSH credentials should generally have root access or use privilege escalation. Compliance results will display a severity info, medium, or high. Checks with a severity of high indicate a failed check. Checks with a severity of info indicate a pass check, and checks with a severity of medium indicate a warning, meaning that the check could not run for some reason, such as a registry key or a file was missing. You can focus on various checks using filters.